Tappers, my name is Mark. Uh, welcome to my 2015 Tab Max S trailer. There's been a lot of discussions on the uh, forums these days about this lock, and in the past, uh, a lot of people have had failures of this lock. And uh, looking through it, um, uh, there are some, um, I don't know if I'd call them design failures, but um, there's some issues that can cause some trouble. Um, it's not that you lose your keys, it's that one day you put your key in here and you turn that and it doesn't do anything or it's jammed, that kind of business. What basically happens in there is that there's a few screws inside um, this uh, lock assembly itself that can come loose and go down and jam the, the assembly itself. So what we're gonna do today, this video is a little bit of a preventive maintenance video. It's not something you need to do all the time, but you need to do it at least once on your trailer. Um, it can help um, with a lot of the issues with these locks. These doors um, are subject to a lot of abuse, um, slamming, uh, road bumping, and all of it is um, focused just right here on this one little bit, bit of metal. And uh, the screws can just vibrate loose in there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to take this lock apart, how to lubricate it, how to put it back together, and we're going to use Loctite to ensure that those uh, screws don't come out in the future. So, um, first thing you need to do is right here on the front these two Phillips screws need to come out first and then these uh, these two square or these four square p um, uh, bolts need to come out next so we're going to go take these out we take these out be right back okay here we go um, we're going to take off the bottom screw first and take off the top screw And then this plate comes off and you notice that it's not uh, this plate is not even they got a short side and a long side or a thin side and a flat uh, fat side it goes with the thin side into the trailer so you need to remember to orient it that way not like this but like this so keep those uh, keep that straight next thing that happens is these these four screws come off Now, when you've taken that last screw off this plate, the handle inside plate just comes off. Um, the screws are special. Don't lose these guys. They got little uh, shoulders on them and stuff. So hang on to those. Don't drop them. Um, the next thing that's going to happen is this uh, entire assembly will push out from the front. And that's the lock assembly. So we're going to go into the shop and we'll disassemble that. We'll re-lube it and I'll show you how to reassemble it so you won't have trouble with the screws coming out. Okay, okay here we are in the shop. This is the lock assembly that we took off. Um, pretty straightforward in how it operates. You have a lever that pushes out that deadbolt and a lever here that pulls in. So when we've got this off, take this top back off. Um, you can see how that operates. Um, this lever 
right? Lever there. Just pulls on this thing. Pretty straightforward. And this knob just pushes that pin out. So um, we're going to go ahead and take this apart. Um, two Phillips screws here and two Phillips screws here. Um, pretty straightforward. Okay, so now we can see how it actually operates. You have a little spring back there. Um, pushes back on this lever, just like that. You've got this knob that pushes in and out on that. Um, so what can happen is these screws, these screws that you saw me take off, right? Let's put that back on. This screw and this screw, if those two screws just come loose, this plate comes loose, and this guy tips up and jams. And you see how that's stuck out into that jam? There's nothing that can you can do on the outside with that key lock when this guy is tilted and jammed. It has to be down like that. You can see that if this plate comes up just a little bit, it loses capture and you can no longer open it. So what we're going to do is going to, it's all apart now. I'm going to show you um, to lube it. And what I like to use, I like to clean it first. You take some paper towels, just take some paper towels and clean it and use some uh, high temperature grease. Um, wheel bearing grease works good, just something high temperature so it's not going to run in there. And we're just going to lube these faces and everything that you see in sl that slides in here. Not a lot, just a little. So, I'm okay, so the first thing I'm doing is cleaning all the grit and all the old muck out of there because I want to do this once and do it just right and not have to worry about it ever again. So here we go. There's the, the latch. Um, so we're going to take a little bit of the red lube, just a little bit, about like, about like that, and we're just going to put it on these surfaces that slide on the front back top bottom just just a coating no big deal um, just like you see here on all four sides of it well, just like that so there you go that's more than enough lubrication for it now i'm going to clean out this channel um, before i drop this pin back in there so you're just going to take a paper towel, you're going to clean the grit and anything that happens to be in there, clean that out of there. Okay, and you're just going to put a little bit of grease just in that channel. Put some on that pin, no big deal. And now we're going to do the same for this guy when we reassemble it. And put the spring back in the back, push the spring to the back of that and clip it down in place. Just that simple. So we're gonna do the same thing to this side. And take out a little keeper first, and then we're going to slide out the pin. You see how it's kind of greasy and icky. We're gonna clean it up. Just pretty straightforward. Just like that. And then we're gonna take a little bit of the red grease now we're going to, uh, it's way too much. <laughs> I just put it around on the wear surfaces. Just kind of around, just like that. Then I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm gonna clean that out of there also. And then we're gonna slide this back into its keeper. Just like that. Man, doesn't that move smooth? Very nice. Okay, I'm going to take just a little bit. I want to put on that end of that pin, a little bit there, and put on that pin, and drop back in the keeper place. All right, 
so we are that's just we could take this much farther apart we could take the the actual um what's called the barrels apart you could take the pins out but you don't need to go that far um, those are pretty robust they uh, hold up pretty well this is just to lube it up and to lock it down so it doesn't disassemble itself under vibration all right so the next thing you need before you reassemble um, this is uh, thread locker and it's called thread locker blue gel it's made by permatex the only important thing here is that it is medium strength now they sell a high strength stuff if you put that high strength stuff on these threads um, you'll never get it apart again <laughs> the medium stuff locks the the bolts in place but um, not so tight that you can never get it apart again. And we may need to take this apart again in the future. In, you know, 10 years from now, who knows what's going on. But you definitely wouldn't want those, uh, those bolts welded in place. So this thread locker, everyone's a little different. This thread locker works like a lipstick tube. I just turn until I've got a little bit here. I take my first piece and I put the... Put the plate in place and I take the screw that's going to go in that place and I just coat the threads. I don't know if you can see that, not much at all, not a lot. And I put it down in there and we're going to loosely put this one in for now. Wipe off a little bit of excess I got there. Then we're going to take the other one. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. I'm going to put some on those threads, just like that. I put him down in there. And now, I'm going to tighten, I'm going to tighten this down um, really snug. Not, don't strip it out, but really snug. Now, the thing about Permatex is that it's the pressure that hardens it. So it acts like a grease up until the point where you put pressure on it. And once it's got pressure, then it locks. Okay, and we can clean off any excess we've got there. Now, those two screws, they're not ever going to wiggle out. This plate is going to stay in place so that that latch never jams like we showed it. Okay. Same thing's going to go on with this guy. See, he's got a little bit of grit on here. I'm going to clean that off. We're going to put this plate on, just like so. I'm going to take those screws, and we're going to put a dab of thread locker around on it. I want to put them in place, just like so. I want to do the same thing with the other one. Give it a little bit. Put it on, stick it down in place. Okay, and once they're both reasonably snug, I'm gonna tighten them down pretty good. There's one. And there's two. So now this lock has been lubed and locked down tight. Now, when we put it back together, remember the two screws that went in here it's these guys and these guys that hold it together i'm going to do the same thing with them with the uh the loctite so let's go out to the trailer and go at that okay here we are back out at the trailer here's our reassembled lock and the first thing you want to do is just from the outside of the trailer insert the lock back in no big deal the next thing that you want to do let me back the camera up here a little bit so you can see what's going on. These two screws need to go in first. So we take our plate and you remember it goes this way, it goes this way, not this way. So we'll put that in, slip it around. Again, we're going to take a little bit of the Loctite, just a little, like that, and we'll run that screw in. 
You don't want to do this tight yet, just snug. Take the other screw, a little bit of Loctite, get some more out, a little bit of Loctite on the threads. And into there he goes. All right. So, once I get him all lined up like I want, go ahead and tighten him down. And again, that Loctite is going to keep those screws from wiggling out. This whole assembly is going to be a much more rigid assembly when it's done. Okay, so now we're going to put the back back on. And that's pretty straightforward. You have to line up this lever to go on that knob, no big deal, and push it in place. So we're going to turn that lever like that. There we go. You see how that lever operates that? Get it all, get it all right. There we go. Now I'm gonna put those four screws in. And again, we just Loctite. And when you're putting Loctite on the shoulders, just put it on the threads. Don't put it all the way up the bolt, just on the threads itself. That's the only place it needs to go. Now we get him started by fingers. And we'll do these others. So we'll hold on a bit here and I'll be back when I get the others in. Okay, and then we're generally, what I like to do is lift this up all the way up as far as I can get it. You see that plate that puts that plate in square and helps with that uh, deadbolt. Make sure it moves right. Okay, and those are reasonably tight. Now, we're going to do a little bit of test. First thing we do, wow, that's nice and smooth. That's the deadbolt. And then we're going to take the keys and put it in the front. And that is also nice and smooth. Very good. Works really, really nice. Deadbolt works. Make sure you go through this test before you close the door because if it doesn't work, you don't want to lock yourself out. So we're all cool to go. Um, the last thing I like to do is I take just a little bit of the goop, a little bit of the grease, and I put it right just a little bit on that striker so that the latch clips smooth, just like that, nice and quiet. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This is a little bit of preventive maintenance. Um, we'll help you uh, maybe not get locked out of your trailer someday. Have a good day. See you on the road.